Look at this, bro. So, did you get the bed? I like CDG. Type shit. <laughs> No, it's hard. This. I'm not a big fan of the color. Actually, it's I like my red. Really? I really like this. I've been looking for a hoodie like this color. Yeah. It looks like it has a pointy head though. It's just so annoying. Really coated oh, paint. Do you see the rivets, bro? Backwards. You know where. It's like fully coated. Straight cut. What are you about, Sean? Apparently they're having a private store right now. So, you know, we like sales. We never pay retail. Oh. Uh, because we don't got money like that. Facts. Is it comfortable? What even material is this? You know when you go to space and like, they package the food? <laughs> it's actually it is what it is. What did you say earlier? Like fucking um, Nickelodeon vibes. Nickelodeon slime. How do you feel about these? What? Oh. I like the white ones. The white ones are cool. Are these the puddle boots? Yeah. Do you like them? Honestly, in person, they're kind of cool. I like the white ones. Like black. You know this. Is the fit is like, like too too tapered. It is. It is tough. Let me see the back. And then what would you say? It's above your nose, you can move the top and Yeah. Or you can leave it there, it depends on you. Personal style, but it should kind of sit right underneath. Uh, above the knee. Oh, but you guys can move it. Yeah, there's oh. just a pocket in the back of the Oh, okay. They're kind of tapered. Yeah, there's, well, there's more tapers than I thought there would be. Yeah. Just, they're really cool. Yeah, they're it has that, you know, that Japanese like, from your J or Union Watanabe. Yeah. So it has that, um, and then we have a pair that with like a fitted shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about Daniel and Levi? So I was, I was in Detroit for the show, uh -huh. and I got to speak to him at the after party. And, yeah. You know, he was really excited with the opening of our store because he designed the space that we're yeah. moving to back well we're moving back a year ago when he first started mm. it's not going to change the line so much because he's been designing with daniel for the last year mm. but i think we're going to see more detailed work because he did work for the artisanal group for margella yeah yeah and he has Ralph simmons yeah. and his belt for like 10 years so i think we're going to see more specialized detail to the clothes People were like mad <laughs> about like the new designer. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, you know, there's that website, uh, we'll take events about Daniel Lee. And so I think we're going to see more couture life work on the clothes because Daniel is a very straight up modernist. Yeah, he is. Very So I think that's what we're going to see, like, you know. I love his cuts, though. I do. Well, you know, he's been, I mean, back he's been contributing to the design, so. I wouldn't be surprised if he has designed certain items. Mm. But he was mainly in women's ready to wear. Mm. So I'm not quite sure what his uh, background will be in men's. I see. It's, it's like it's like if Roth and Trace had a <laughs> And Margiela. And Margiela, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it might be exciting. Yeah. 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 So that's the only thing I'm going to see is I think we're still going to see modern clothes, but with more detail more to it. Okay. That's kind of like given in the artistic world, mm. but I didn't know it was going to be that severe. That he just wanted to like design exactly what we wanted to, and like they're pushing. Well, you know, you, they, in business, they always want to uh, marry commerce and art, and that's kind of hard to do. Mm. I'm sure he's designing what he wants, yeah. and those stuff. That's always like the big like, you know, trouble with like anything with like runway stuff. They just want to make runway, but it's not profitable. Clients, they do wear the clothes. Mm. Um, so I'm excited and also nervous. I'm like, is it going to change again? Mm. Because we actually got that. Uh, well, in the US, I mean, the bird is probably 36. Could be 38. We have some. Is it a moment? I, kinda, I don't thought know. this was going to go on sale. It's really? not. It didn't. <laughs> Because this was a carryover from last year. And I was like, <laughs> I am, and then 
I looked at my left. I mean, in the U.S. Did you guys carry the one jacket first? Yes, we did. That thing, like, that one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shit is crazy. But we could go. We could. We could go to Nevada Falls. Let's do that one. Five point five or three? Yeah, three point four. Three point four. Yeah, whatever you guys want. Oh, All right. That's sick. Wait. <laughs> 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 All the way up there, bro. <laughs> hey, just start running. I don't think I'll be able to pull up there. Holy shit. It, but we didn't make it but we, we went a little start. bit off course <laughs> we were over there That's that question. now we're gonna try to go in there i don't know if you guys see this shit but how we missed you and a half miles right there. Holy shit, I'm tired. We made it. We did make it. Enjoying yourself, buddy? Made it. I know why Rosie didn't want to, or Rose didn't want to give up the fucking, the oh fucking, my. holy shit. Bro, if you put the waters in there, it's instant cold. <laughs> no, dad has touches, bro.
I can't believe someone climbed that shit. Like, yeah, without a rope. Solo free solo, bro. That's insane. He climbed that shit with no yeah. rope. Yeah, all the way to the top. With nothing? Nothing, nothing no, yeah. Like, free solo, bro. Free solo. There's a documentary on it. That is ridiculous. Oh, wait. Just practice for like, How long would that take him, though? But how do you practice? Dude, it, like, it took him like, hours? yeah, four or five hours. It's in the body, too. This is my homeboy, Steven. You guys are going to see him. A lot more of him. Yes, um, hopefully. But yeah, he actually picked up a lot of shit recently. My guy went a little bit overboard. Thank you. Um, but yeah. Hey. I guess so. We can start with this, I guess. Let's cop this like. It's nice. Oh, I like the, the fabric. It's fabric nice. It's like, no, it's like they're crinkled now. I don't know what it like. Yeah, I don't know. Should I try it on? Yeah, you can try it on. What season is it from? It's this season, this fall. Oh, so it's new season. Yeah. Rocket was wearing it too. That's why you got it. Nah. <laughs> nah, but Rocket was back in my saddle too, bro. It fits you well. That's uh, nice. Yeah. Should I just wear this? What do you nah, think? I like the other one. You better. like the other one better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, what else? What else do we? Uh, I had this for a while, but I guess I can just show it out. It's easy season three. My favorite easy season collection. Is it really? Honestly, My I love the hoodies. The My puffer was amazing. It was just, I, sh I wish I got a size small. Well, you had the puffer, you sold it though. Yeah, it was what so size big you got on that one? It was a medium. It was, it was medium? huge. You said it was like greenish color? Yeah, it was, it's like a really rare, like greenish I don't know color. What it's I think it's called the utility bomber, size medium. I only got this for like 280. North Shore? Nah, on ground. Oh, on ground. Shift fits nice too, and it's warm. It's like nice and cropped too. You're on that like Jesus is King type beat. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. I like the color. Yeah, it's nice color too. I'm trying to cut my colors, but it's too expensive. That's pretty much it. Oh, I guess this too. I want to read some pickups too, I guess. I actually really, really like this. Our Legacy Stussy collab. It's probably the best piece from the, from the recent. The, the camo they use is fire. Bro, turn on the flash. You see it? Yeah, I see it. It's you like see fucking... the video? I can't really see it. Yeah, it's like glowing. Dude, it's like reflecting on your yeah. face. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Let me just... Uh... It's cool. I guess so. They made like the tags bigger. They did. I don't know if you guys did. can see that. I think you see it. I don't know what it looks like on me, but. How does it feel? It, feels, it looks it feels good, nice. bro. Size large. It looks good on you. It's cozy. It's cozy, huh? I like the fabric that they use. It's like yeah. kind of like puffer, crinkle puffer yeah. material. I thought it would be a lot thicker. soak the rain, though. Probably, huh? I should probably do this. Yeah, I'll probably not. Go back? I don't fucking know. I haven't checked. It's nice. Shut up. Try the Yeezy. It's like a webbing. She looks good too. Yeah, I like that Kanye. Yeah, bro. With the boots. With the boots too. The Guida boots. Bro, that's a fit right there. This is, um, to everyone else, this is. Bottega. No, fuck, no, it's not. Just kidding. Uni Club. This is even look like Bottega. Woman's pants. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. What size is it? Like XL? No, these are medium. Are you serious? For women's, women's good, uh... right? Yeah, they fit good. This one's my favorite. Out of all the are you serious? Honestly, bro. I like it too, though. It's pretty. Uh, it's kind of loud, but I like it though. I just like the, like the, the fact like that the it's camera, camera, bro. It's hard. I like how it looks like that. I was like, yeah. Has a little thing on the side too. Oof. 
shit kind of hard. Damn. I remember looking at the collection too, like on Instagram and shit. Yeah, this is actually rain. I wish it was. I wish. It, hopefully, it's fucking. It is. No, is it? It, is. it feels like it is. Should I test the spit on it? No. no. <laughs> Look, we got bum right now, but I have a package in. Cover the label. But this was sent to me by N Clothing and Mastermind. They have a collab coming out with Vans. This is the box. Actually, pretty fire. Not gonna lie. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's the Mastermind logo right there. Basically a deconstructed skate high. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's cool, actually. There's the other side. It does have a translucent sole. That's kind of cool. Interesting shoot, but Vans Mastermind. I don't know when it's gonna drop, but should be, should be, should be interesting. I wonder if it's gonna sell out. Let's another look at them. But yeah, that was the first look. Enjoy the rest of the video. So um i have picked up a few things uh over the last month or so just wanted to give you my monthly update of things that i've acquired uh i haven't really been buying a lot of stuff just because we have the release coming soon so a lot of the money is going towards production at the moment but nevertheless we do have pickups and everyone loves pickups so i guess we can start out with only pants that I picked up. These are some older Yoji Yamamoto pants. Argos type deal. They're made of this heavy, heavy cotton twill. Um, because they're so heavy, it really holds its shape well. And super wide. I'll have an on-body portion of the video, but you'll, you'll be able to see how wide they are. I like the way they fit. And the quality is just super, super nice. I mean black, you can wear that with literally anything. So yeah, first pick up some Yoji cargo pants. Solid pickup, I wear those a lot actually. Vans Vault collab. Uh, something you can wear, you know, on a daily basis. I haven't laced them up yet, but I think it's really cool. There's no Vans logo anywhere. So I thought that was a cool detail. And then also, if you look closely, you can see the Mastermind logo imprinted onto the side of the shoe. Um, the stitching of the swoosh. I really said swoosh. The, sw the stitching of Tonic Vans stripe going along the shoe but on the inside. It's just the holes where the the strip would be. Cool shoe. I mean, cool to see a deconstructed version of a shoe that a lot of people wear. Um, the color's nice. In pictures, it looks cream, but in person, it's more of a white. Uh, still sick though. Just a second. Uh, another footwear item. Shout out to Daniel for signing me these. Uh, had pairs of crystals before, um, but always wanted just like a solid black pair I could just wear 
around the house, I mean, when I'm going out and I don't feel like putting anything on. Uh, I don't know, just like an essential to have. And I actually traded for these, so didn't have to spend money out of my own pocket, but some black Christos, solid. Comes with the dust bag. This one. Just like my Skagways, same kind of packaging ordeal where you tie the strings. Really like Vizum's footwear packaging. I mean, their their packaging for their garments in general are super super cool. Uh, very minimal, straight to the point. You know, like it solid. Anyways, last pickup is the banger. I have this 09 Undercover Joy Division. You can't really see it, but. I mean, kind of. Backpack. Uh, I found this at 2nd Street. If you guys go watch Keezy's last video, um, I legit just picked it up there. Uh, good price. I haven't seen many of these backpacks floating around the market, so I'm pretty sure I'm one of the only people to have this version of the backpack. You guys might have seen a printed version where the Joy Division design is printed in white, I believe. Very spacious. Uh, you, you you can fit just about anything in this backpack. Solid travel size and the metal buckles. Pretty heavy. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this was based off of I don't know what the exact model is, but it's the Prada backpack. Um, looks kind of like it. But yeah, it's a solid backpack. I use this almost every day. Uh, for school, uh, recently went on that Yosemite hike, so I had this uh, literally fit everything that I would have needed on that hike. But yeah, a lot of just things that I'm going to use every day. But updates on the jackets, waiting on our final sample, then we can push for production. Updates will be coming within the next couple of weeks. Uh, stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've been posting a lot more content within the last month or so. So if you want to stay updated with anything like that, please subscribe. Hit 1500 not too long ago, so thank you guys for that. Uh, the feedback on the jacket was amazing. I'm glad you guys like it. And I can't wait for you guys to see.